What up, y'all? It's your boy R to the A to the S. Yes, Rods here with Proceed with Cost Blog. Today, I want to talk about how to debate with pro choice Christians. Now, I know some of you are like, you know, how can you be a Christian and pro choice? You know, that's a whole different blog. But what I want to do is look at some of the common arguments and then try to think of some counter ways to, you know, dispute what they're saying. Uh, give you a common example. One is which uh, is if we get you know laws that restrict or eliminate abortions, it's not going to stop abortion. People are still going to find some kind of way to get abortions. Now, how do you counter that? Well, what I do is try to find out a cause that they like and use their those same logical arguments against them. Let's take for example gun restriction laws. Like some people are feel that, you know, automatic weapons should be eliminated, maybe keep handguns. Some people say eliminate guns all at all. So you can count on that if we use their example. So you can say, well, okay, well, making gun restriction laws are not going to stop violence. Making gun restriction laws is not going to stop mass killings. If that person really wants to do it, they're going to find a way on the black market to get that gun, to shoot, or they might even go a more destructive way. They might even try to find some type of way to do some type of bombing you know it's you can go on the on the on the internet and find some way to make a bomb and make sure that there's a whole bunch of people killed so why try to restrict it because you're you're not going to eliminate it and of course they're going to be like well no it might not eliminate it but it might reduce the number of mass shootings and then of course you can kind of wait okay well eliminating you know abortion clinics and Pro um, Planned Parenthood, things of that sort, might limit the number of abortions that might happen in this country. So there you go. You use their own logic against them. Uh, another argument I've seen a lot is you can't uh, speak against abortion or pro-life uh, laws or try to legislate pro-life laws unless you're quote-unquote qualified. Um, and some of the qualifications like, well, what are you going to do for the child once they get here? Are you going to take care of the child? Are you going to adopt the child? What are you going to do? Um, and basically the way to counter that is, okay, well, since you're making this arbitrary law, okay, what is the qualifications? Do I have to adopt one child, five child, five children, 10 children? Well, what's the qualification? What's the limitation? What, what qualifies me to speak? Do I have to sponsor a, a parent, a mother, a single mother? Do I have to give her money? Okay, what's the qualification? And, of course, the answer is there is none. This is just some arbitrary thing that they're using as a smoke screen to, you know, try to get you to not promote pro-life uh, laws and issues. And a lot of them, they don't have a response. Okay, what, what is this arbitrary law? How do you determine that? Well, who who defines what, what makes you qualified? Uh... Another arbitrary thing is this this notion of, well, we must not just, we have to promote pro-life issues from, not just from the womb, but from when the child is born to, to death in order to be a true, quote-unquote, qualified pro-life person. So, we, again, with this type of mentality... I, I counter with this. I say, okay, well, you have definitely, okay, you have infant mortality rates. You have all of these things. But that doesn't negate that there is an issue with these uh, abortion clinics where you have basically, I just use it like the example of a mass murderer who's going around killing kids in the womb. Even if we promote, you know, you know, measures of prenatal care. That still is not going to solve the problem that you have this mass murderer who is killing babies in the womb. And also point out the irony. Okay, you're saying that I should be concerned about these issues. You know, you have a a child that may or may not may or may not live with you know after birth because of poor health care. Okay, and I, and not I'm not against that. But with abortion, we have 100% certainty that this child is not going to live. And so I should just ignore or not promote, you know, 
these pro-life list pro-life issues unless I'm promoting, you know, health care or prenatal care or things of that sort. Does that mean I should not? No. But my thing is this, I always counter with, okay, so let's say I do promote that. Are you going to become pro-life now, Christian? Are you going to be against abortion laws if, I, if I'm pushing for legislation or pushing for measures to make, uh, you know, health of the baby more safer? And a lot of them are going to say, no, they're still going to be uh, pro-choice. They're still going to uh, promote that. That's not going to stop them from being pro-choice. So, again, these qualifications are a smoke screen. You have to call this out. Uh, along with that, you know, with these qualification things, you have to show them, like I said, you use their own arguments against them. You can use, and for example, let's say you have somebody who's pro-choice. And then they bring up, well, what about, you know, prenatal care? What about these things? You can point them out, well, this is no different than what people who, when I point out that a police shooting has occurred of an innocent person, an innocent person has died, just like you have an innocent person dying with um, abortion, you have an innocent person who died, let's say, like Tamir Rice. Uh, for those who are not familiar, you can Google it. I mean, it was a young man playing with a toy gun. Police pulled up, shot him, killed him, you know, nothing really happened to that police, right? I'm not going to allow you to say, well, what about black on black crime? Because we're going to focus on the issue that this little boy, this teenage boy who's going around playing with a gun, was killed innocently. I'm not going to let you just talk about, well, what about black on black crime? What about black people killing each other? Why are you just focusing in on uh this one case you know there's more uh crimes of black on black crime than police shooting black people some of y'all will have a fit if, if a person said that to you well it's the same thing with abortion you can't just bring up these other issues when we have this clear issue where children innocent children are dying versus okay let's say like prenatal care you know where you know, it's a chance that a child might die. And I, again, I'm not saying that we should not improve the haircut system or, you know, in urban areas that black people are not suffering in, in these ways. But don't allow people to distract you. That's what they're trying to do. To get your focus off the issue. Bring it back. Then use their issues against them. So that's my thoughts on this. Love to hear yours. But see what caution blog. Skip Bell is sucks and I'm out.